guys, this is Lozzy88, welcome back to another video. Today I have another, <laughs> another haul from Kerry at Ball Pens and etc. So Teen Bay, thank you so much for my order. Uh, the first thing I want to show you guys is this. So this is a file folder and basically what happened, I said in my last video, um, unfortunately, I mean you can see this one's a little bit dinged up as well, but like minimal, it only shows in the light, but uh, yeah unfortunately this one did get a little bit banged up too even though it was put between some cardboard. but. Um, the corners on my last folder were just completely destroyed like this much all the way around uh, i just did not do very well <laughs> this one's got some dinks but that's fine um there's none on the front the front is perfect and i love the design of this it's so cute i got a mini memo pad last time and the folder so I just wanted to show you guys that I have an issue. I told her she didn't need to worry about rectifying it, that, um, you know, I'd try and put the folder under some books. I'm pretty sure it's not going to do anything. It's been under there for like three weeks and it hasn't got any better. But, you know, I was like, it's okay. You don't have to replace it. But she did. She went back to the shop and she bought me a replacement file folder. So I'm really grateful for that. Thank you so much, Carrie. And then because I had a reason to, I suppose, I just decided I'm going to buy some more things. So uh, one of the items that I bought is not in here because I'm an idiot and I thought everything was in here. <laughs> and it turned out that she hadn't picked one of the items up yet, but I paid for everything. I paid for shipping and they sent it out and then like, a day after they shipped it, it was like, hey, we picked up this, and I was like, no. So this was supposed to be my last order, so there will be another one coming very soon. Okay, so let me show you what I got. So my biggest purchase is this. It's so tiny, I thought they were way bigger than this. Um, I'm not opening it at the moment because it is a complete sealed Kimetsu no Yaiba um, set and these are the little mini sun type figures or plushes I suppose um, and you get six in the box so I suppose that like each one is probably about like that long by that I don't know they're, they're, they're not huge they're not full some size which I'm actually kind of relieved about because this will be easier for me to store and these were 50% off. I think I paid 40, $44, I think. Maybe it's 45 But I think it was $44 for this box, which I thought was really reasonable because there was a time when these were selling at like 12, 12 or $14 per blind box. I assume they just had a lot left over because this is from the first series. So they were just clearing stock. Originally, they were 858 yen plus tax. So that's around about like 950 yen-ish. Um, so that times six is nearly $60. So I'm very, very happy that I got a bargain with these. I will be doing a follow-up video, but not until I've watched Demon Slayer. I already know I'm gonna enjoy it. I've seen clips of it, it looks amazing but I have not watched it yet. I am waiting to watch it with a friend. So yeah, I'm just having to be really good. But I, when I see merchandise that I like and I know I'm gonna want, I'm just buying it. So I also got some gachapon from Kerry. So I'm not gonna be showing them in this video because I will be doing a separate video on them once I've watched Kimetsu no Yaiba. So. When I've seen Demon Slayer, I will be showing you my Gachapon collection. So, alright. 
this was a last minute purchase she had some oops, glare she had some last minute finds of these in her like back stock and I didn't buy this when it came out I wanted to and I was like no I don't need it no and I regretted it let's just say I regretted it. oh this is glary too oh oh no the glare I've got, I've got a light on because it's just gone too dark so I'll just do that so it's sakura with this beautiful like is it gold or silver gold it's gold foiling on the front and I just want to see if the inside is <gasps> oh guys look how pretty that is oh. so who do we have we have oh gosh I don't know that character I don't know that character it kind of looks like Jirachi but I don't think it is um so obviously we've got male and female Pikachu does anybody know who that is I want to say it's it's not Jirachi it's not it can't be I don't think it is I'm not sure so if you guys, if one of you guys knows who it is then please let me know in the comments happy to have this one very exciting and then I bought a little plate she posted them uh, really late and I was lucky to get one to be honest I don't know how much this is I don't know I paid four dollars I just really liked the sakura theme it's a cinnamon roll plate And I just thought I'd be upset if I didn't get it. It's glass. And I just thought it was so beautiful. Look at how pretty that is. Like seriously guys, that is so pretty. And I thought this would be a really nice little like coin tray. Um, put like your change on when you come back in the house. anybody else do that or is that just me so when I've been out shopping um, I normally only do it once a week on like a Sunday but I might not have time to fully go through and like put everything into their individual money boxes because I have like a collection of money boxes because I'm sad like that and uh, so I tend to just dump it into a pile until I'm ready to count it and see how much I saved that week but yeah, so that's it doesn't happen very much at the moment because obviously with quarantine I'm not really buying anything with cash. It's all being bought online. So thank God for Ikumi and Kerry and Raquel and I don't know the name of the girl from its Japan store. Oh I'm really bad with names and Jimmy. So thank you to these guys because I've been able to keep myself stocked up with snacks and pretty things and cute stuffs and stationaries and all the things that a girl could dream of so they also released a new Sumiko Gorashi series and originally all I wanted was the stickers oh I can't see them they're holographic which is amazing what I liked about these ones is the fact that there's so many little stickers so I really liked how small they were and the fact that they were on a clear background. That is very important for me. This is the second sheet. Again, tons of little stickers. So I got one of each. I believe they were, ooh, was it $3 each or $4 each? I can't remember. I want to say $3 each but I'm not sure. I think my favorite is impossible to choose. Mm. Gosh. I really like 
the big sticker on the pink page, which is all of them together. That one. But I also really, really like the individual ones of them. One here and up there. And then on the blue sheet, I just really... I don't know, I really like this rainbow guy down here. And I really liked this, like, I don't know, a drink truck or whatever it is. And these people up in the cars at the top, they're so cute. I pretty much just fell in love with this series. They're beautiful pastel stickers and they'll go with so many different designs. So that was all I was going to get. Then they showed the memo pads and I was like, well, I suppose it won't hurt to get one memo pad, you know, just, I'll just get a little one. So this is the design for the little one, get this design and this design. And I was really, really happy with it. Lots of space to, root, to write, but you know, there's a nice amount of design too. I like the rainbow lines and that was $2. And then I was like, this is going to sell out really quick and I'm going to regret it. So then I got a big memo pad as well. This was $5. And this is design number one. This is design number two. Number three. And number four. So cute absolutely love it i got the carousel version oh, i'm so happy like christmas has come early i love it well not really christmas i bought everything myself but i also got another thank you gift this is really sweet to me because i mean i know ikumi always includes a little something raquel always puts in some stickers freebies are not necessary i get that it's just a nice little token something so basically for about a year i bought about four different orders i spent like ugh, i don't even know how much money and i didn't even get a thank you letter from carrie i always used to and i don't know what happened but for some reason in about four or five of my orders in a row i didn't get a single thank you letter <laughs> and i never told her because i was like they're busy i expect it's an oversight they said thank you to me via like DMs on Instagram. So I'm not, I, I wasn't like worried about it. But it does make me smile when I open my package and I see a little piece of paper that just says, thank you for choosing Bay. Hope these goodies made your day and stay safe. And I really like that. So this time I got something a little bit different. So I'm not quite sure why but i got a ton of these adorable little sanrio freebies they're all cinnamon roll though <laughs> i don't know if they were supposed to be different and they just didn't they didn't happen that way or if they were all supposed to be cinnamon roll not that i particularly mind i'm certainly going to use one or two of these as a pen pal freebies because these are beautiful um i don't really use puffy stickers but I've got a goddaughter who does like puffy stickers. So I'm probably going to keep maybe like two of them for me and then gift these four away. I may even save them because I'm hoping to do a giveaway at some point in my channel. I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping to do a giveaway when I reach like 5,000 subs or something. Haven't really decided. I might bring it down to 2,500. I have not got a clue. If lockdown persists, then it will be the latter because uh, it'll be the, the later number because um, I just don't have a post office local to me and I'm not walking an hour and a half to get to my post office because I don't drive and I don't feel safe taking the bus right now. So, but yeah, that's everything that I got. Uh, like I said, there are gachapon missing because I didn't want to show you them because you can see what they are. So they'll either go in my blind bag fun or they'll probably end up uh, being done in a separate video at a later point. So hope that's okay with you guys. I'm keeping the gachapon secret because 
I love gratitude ones and I think just showing them and opening them in a video where people are probably not going to really watch necessarily the whole thing um, I just thought it would be nice to do a separate video and really showcase how beautiful the gachapon in Japan are because some of them are just so intricate and so detailed and I absolutely love them. So that's my plan. Alright guys, thank you so so much for watching and I will see you next time. Let me know what your favourite item is. I think my, my favourite this time is the Sumiko Garashi stationery because I'll be able to use that right away. But I also really, really like the Demon Slayer um, blind boxes. I'm looking forward to making a video of those at some point in the future. Alright guys, thank you so much. I believe you get a full set. I believe. I don't know. Supposedly, you get a full set. So, I thought rather than buy one or two, I'll just buy the full set and then I've got all of them. So, yay! Alright guys, thank you so much. I will see you in my next video.